there's lots of animals out there and they're slowly dying because of our habits of throwing things on the ground and not picking them up and just not caring for our environment. My mom used to pack our snacks in plastic bags and I would be like, Mom, why are you using so much plastic? And she'd be like, well, because that's all we have. And then I was like, well, why don't we try and find something else? And then we came to grade four and now we have these eco bee kind reps to solve the problem. When we started our school year, um, we took a, a really close look at our waste at lunchtime and we discovered that we were throwing away a lot of plastic baggies. They were really, I, I think, shocked and surprised by what we're doing to our environment. And certainly when we counted our lunch waste and they saw it all laid out on the table in front of them, it became very real to them. And then as they started researching the impact on the environment and watching videos of plastic um, in the oceans and animals that were caught in plastic and looking at videos of the landfill, because we do focus in grade four on waste in our world and our future, they really felt a sense of urgency and a sense of responsibility. And with a conversation with Roxanne from Trad Worms and the grade four students, um, we came up with the idea of potentially making these wraps ourselves. Are you gonna reach for one of these that you made and you know exactly what's in it? Of course you are, right? Because you have pride in making these. When the teacher told us that we're going to do this as a class project, that I'd enjoy it because I love the environment and I don't want to see it go away. What I love most about EcoBee Kind Drops is that they keep your food fresher than plastic bags because they're airtight. Throwing away plastic baggies are wrong because we want to save the environment instead of just throwing them away because they take 400 years to biodegrade. I wanted to bring eco kind Wraps to school because I think it's wrong to be throwing away plastic into the environment because that's hurting the marine life and the forest animals. It's easier to wrap um, food inside an eco kind Wrap because you can bend them into any shape and you can wrap anything in them. And, within, and with plastic baggies, that's not the same. In our house, we use for raisins and nuts. And you put them in there and squish them all up. Because the plastic them... baggies, okay. you either throw them away or you take them home, but usually kids throw them away and it doesn't help our environment. And you could be kind wraps, you just have to unwrap them and then once you're done eating, just put them back in your lunch kit and you can wash them again at home and reuse them over and over again for almost a year. We are inundated with single-use plastic everywhere. We are, we are reaping the sort of carelessness, especially in our oceans and in contaminants and groundwater. And single-use plastic is one of those things that takes four or five hundred years to decompose. Whereas echo wraps, we use them over and over from sustainable um, products. And stuff that would be slated for the landfill, i.e. the cloth that people donate to us, we save it from the landfill, we repurpose for it using sustainable technologies, and we can keep our food safe in a manner that is very comparable to plastic wrap. Based on our 2016 waste scans, about 10 or 15 percent of all waste from a household is plastic and we get about 15,000 tons of, of waste from all households across the city for a year. So that means we, a, a rough estimate would be about 15 to 2,500 tons of plastic go to the landfill from Medicine Hat every year from households. When plastic goes into the landfill, it stays as, as plastic. Plastic has a, a much longer staying power than other type of waste. And so we need to be much more careful about where we put it and how we put it in, in order to minimize the impact to the environment. So the process of creating EcoRaps is only five stages. So the first is we measure one-to-one -one ratio of beeswax and tree resin. The reason we use beeswax and resin in EcoRaps is because beeswax gets cold and brittle in the fridge, whereas resin has the malleability and the stickiness to seal and be sticky 
so that the container is actually waterproof. Then we melt beeswax and tree resin over medium heat to have a good uh, incorporation of the two. The third one is we pick the size that we want and pick and cut it a little bit larger, the size, and then we paint on the slurry of beeswax and tree resin, quite a thick layer of it. Then we put it in the oven and let it cook for three, four minutes at 250 degrees. Bring it out, let it sort of air dry so it's nice and even. Then we put a finished edge with pinking shears on it, and that's about it. What it started me thinking was, how did my parents and my grandparents live in a time where they didn't have landfills and garbage? And, and when I saw how appropriate echo wraps were, and how easy they were to do and incorporate them in my life, and and seeing like, you know, all the horrific things like the turtles with the straws in their nose, I, I really had to have a heart to heart and said, you know what, I need to not just do one thing about that, I need to really take stock of my life. And, and Echo Wrap sort of led to maybe a, a more aware lifestyle about, you know, carrying our own straws and our own coffee cups. And, and it, it translated into something else too. When we see landfills and all the single use plastic, especially cling wrap, which takes forever to decompose, I, we thought about, you know, how else can we move something forward? And that's where the worms came in. Because we don't have garbage pickup out here, the worms are um, a way where we mitigated our garbage. And these are small changes that can make impact when we all collectively come together and say no more single-use plastic. And it's been a beautiful um, story because these kids are seeing how much plastic they were using. And now through this program and all these echo wraps, we're seeing, uh, we're seeing a, an incredible diminishment of these kids and they're holding their parents accountable. And that's a really cool thing. Recycling really is, is, a, is a last resort. Uh, when, when we look at waste management, it's reduce, reuse, recycle. So we, we, can, we can look at those first two R's first and see what we can reduce by, by using less plastic and uh, seeing also what we may be able to reuse or, or, or extend the life of. And then finally we should be recycling rather than the other way around. Recycling is not the first answer, it's the last. As a city, uh, this, this last year we, we rolled out a, a blue cart system whereby households can, can put all of their, their recyclable material, including plastic, into one large cart where it can get picked up and then sorted and recycled. I think we all have become more aware of, of what we're doing and what we're using and what we're throwing away. Um, one of the changes that um, my family has made since this research project and since the Eco Be Kind Wraps project is that we don't use plastic straws anymore. We have metal straws that we use. Uh, when we go to restaurants, we don't ask for straws. We specifically say that we don't want straws. If somebody tries to give us a plastic bag, we just simply say, oh no, thank you. I'd rather save the environment. So there's, there's always in the back of my mind the question, what will this action do? How will it impact our environment? And is there an alternative? Ever since I've um, did like started the project Eco Be Kind Wraps, I started using less plastic. I think we're making the difference because we reduce the amount of plastic we're using in our school, and I think it's spreading all around the world. I think it is making um, me more aware of using different things because. Now I am recycling more and reducing the amount of plastic that I use around the house. Most of my family is using EcoBeKind wraps, so my grandparents are using EcoBeKind wraps and my mom and dad are. As a family, we've been taking these leather boxes with straps and, and using them to put our food in that we buy at the grocery store instead of the plastic shopping bags that they have at the grocery store. Well, I'm recycling more because I know that it's if I throw plastic bags away into the garbage, then 
the, the, it's gonna go into the landfill and it's gonna get bigger. And recycling, then it's gonna be better for the environment. The most important thing to me is not just the wraps, but it's the idea of the reduction of what we're chucking into it. We're thoughtlessly chucking into the landfill, right? So it, it, it is the ability to make people consciously think about what they're doing with their food and what they're doing to protect their food. We live such crazy lives and we are so busy. This is such a easy, quick way to make ourselves be more accountable uh, and be better stewards of the earth that we've been given. Thank you.